Hi guys, today an amazing video related to an amazing tool. How to do hacking with artificial intelligence. We are going to use a nice tool called SecGPT. The interesting thing of this tool is that it's created to cybersecurity, only cybersecurity and well, hacking, etc. So allows you to explore tactics, techniques, te methodologies, etc. It's very, very interesting, okay? So, uh, let's take a look about uh, what we can do. So, uh, let's see. Um, give me one-liners, one-liners for um, reverse shell in... Uh, PowerShell. One-liners to get. To get a reverse shell in PowerShell. Let's see. Okay. Well, here we have nice answers. We can invoke PowerShell TCP. Okay, here we have one. Let's try with this one. Let's try this one. The scenario we have here is very, very simple. A Windows 10. Windows 10. Let me show you. Here I have some previous tests that I execute. I'm going to close all, all of this and let's let's modify something. Here we have disabled the Windows Defender because of course um, uh, I don't sorry I don't um, I we can't execute some of these commands because they can be detected as malicious. So I disable the real time protection. So uh, we are going to execute the PowerShell here, perfect, and we have a Kali machine here, listening, listening, let's say netcat-lvp port 4455 can be, perfect, we are listening, and here I'm going to paste the um, the script. We need to modify a little bit this because we need to put the attacker IP and the attacker port. Of course, normally I do that in Sublime. It's better. Let me let me call my Sublime and um, we are going to, to modify here. Paste and it's easier here. The attacker IP, it's our um, Kali IP address. If you want to take a look, I have config. And well, 164, perfect. That's it. And the port that we are using is the 4455, right? So 4455. That's it. And I hit, I copy this. Copy and paste. Enter, and look, we have the shell now. We can say, okay, who am I? We have the shell, we can say dir, and we have access to everything here, and we can validate that it's the same machine. We can call the CMD, and we can say dir, and you are going to see that it's exactly the same content, same dates, etc., etc. Is the machine. So, the um, the reverse shell one-liner works perfect, right? We can use or we can make more questions. Here we have a recommendation, okay? Some tips uh, about what we can and we, we can't. To be honest, I execute some similar question and works perfect. Uh, maybe, of course, the idea of this um, artificial intelligence is to help penetration testers, cybersecurity guys, 
uh, cybersecurity researchers, etc. But you can uh, ask things like, okay, give me 20 um, SQL injection payloads. Let's see. So we can try in a page like this one. This is a page that we can test. It's from Aconetics. Uh, it's created uh, to detect vulnerabilities to test the scanner, right? So you can try different attacks here, so it's okay. Um, here we have 20 SQL injection payloads. I'm going to copy this one and let's try. In that website, I'm going to paste that one here and as password I'm going to paste here and let's try login and um, perfect we are in it works perfect we can bypass the control with that payload right uh, you can try another one like let's try with this one let's go to the sign up paste and paste login let's see that one doesn't work so here we have different different payloads you can ask for uh, a different thing like uh, uh, how to enumerate subdomains subdomains with um, crt.sh let me validate that I'm okay crt.sh yeah crt.sh yeah with crt.sh in one liner with uh, curl can be let's say go look here we have the command we can test it let's go to our Kali machine ah of course I keep open the the reverse shell I'm going to paste here and we need to modify a little bit this part. I'm going to modify a little bit this. I'm going to say equal to percentage dot percentage uh, 25, no, uh, the percentage percentage 35, no, 25, 25, uh, 25 dot, uh, let's say walmart.com and enter let's see it's going to provide the result in json format we need to modify it tweak a little bit this one but okay it works let's see well while this works we can take a look uh, to other options other question in the platform so we can ask um hmm, things like the recommended things like uh, okay um, what is interesting report of, uh, okay we can ask how to uh, differentiate about a low um, low risk vulnerability and an info or informational one let's see i made a mistake here ah of course i low ribbon uh, those uh, have potential to cause harm on the system but the impact is not significant well, on the other hand informational findings do not pose an immediate security risk and have no practical impact to confidentiality integrity or availability the respective immediation uh, very good question very good answer sorry very good one let's see uh, I made a mistake here. Let, let me see. Try this one. Let me see. Uh -huh. hmm. 
Mm, let's let's see. I'm going to wait a little bit. Okay, so um, what well, are question we can do here? The recommended questions. Uh, let's see. Uh, give me a summary of it with tips. Let's try with that one. Can be interesting. What is an interesting report on? Uh -huh. What is an interesting report? What is an interesting report on on SSRF? Um, give me a summary with tips. Okay. Give me a summary with tips. Let's see the answer. But maybe uh, let's try with that one with tips. Mm -hmm. Ah, of it with tips. Let's see which one is the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Having a methodology and mind map. That's good. That's good to use a mind map if, if you are going to execute a, a penetration testing or ethical hacking in a, in a platform. You need a mind map. A mind map. I normally use it. Uh, search for fishy endpoints. Okay, good. Paying attention to in scope domains and harvesting suspicious endpoints. Okay. Testing XML, of course. Oh, very good. Very good one. Let's say how to test um, WPA to network with air crack dash ng. Let's see. And I don't know if we have an issue, or maybe I am out of credits. I don't think so. I don't know. Let's try. Um, Give me the step by step guide guide to test WPA2 with air crack dash ng. Okay. Okay, no problem. We can say how to use air crack ng in pen testing. Okay, look, it's great. Step by step, you need to put the interface in monitor mode, just scan the networks, only for the network that you have permission, of course. You never can try to detect vulnerabilities in an infrastructure if you don't have permission to do so. That's the only one thing that differentiates a cyber criminal or a malicious actor than you. That's the only one difference. Okay, so never, never try if you don't have permission or it's not your own network. Okay, uh, error dump, capture the packets. Okay, crack the password using air crack. Uh huh, perfect, that's good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you can see the potential about this amazing tool. So just let your comments or give me or your comments in uh, the in the video and well see you in the next one.